the directions say the hotel it was on SB Lane, which is right off of this road. I know where I'm going. Well, you better. The hotel is in a nicer part of town, isn't it? Ooh, we could ask that guy over there if you want. Oh, stop it. Just keep driving. Oh, look, there it is, Abel, look. You see? No worries. Whew. I was getting a little concerned there for a moment. Oh, shut up. Can we please ask for directions now? Even if it was necessary, who are we going to stop and ask out there, here? There! There! At the bus stop! He looks like a respectable man. I'm sure he could help us out. Excuse me, sir. Um, sir? Excuse me, I just... W my husband and I are looking for the hotel on SB Lane, and, well, we seem to be running out of lane. Please stop. Excuse me? It's just that I think I have an inkling of your dilemma. You see, this is SB Lane, and the only road in this town with a hotel on it is SP Lane. Like the letters. I can see how you might get confused. I'm gonna kill my husband. Oh. You wouldn't know how to get to SB Lane, would you? Well, it just so happens I'm headed in that direction myself. Jeremy Carver, head of communications for Chicane and Company. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Carver. Uh, your company makes blankets, right? Or maybe sheets? Pillows. Actually. Right, right. Um, could you possibly point us in the right direction? Perhaps. Now, I hope you won't think I'm being too bold, but... Maybe we could make a trade. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have anything of consequence. I mean, I really only need directions, sir. Surely... Uh, uh, yeah, no, 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 you, you misunderstand me. Uh, the bus doesn't come along here for another hour, and I have urgent business to attend to at the hotel. Oh, the pillows. Right. Right, of course. Um, well, okay. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, shall we? Silver Hyundai Elantra. On its way. You're out on a job. There's no coming back until it's done. It's done. Proof of completion? What the fuck? <laughs> this is such bullshit. Now, now. The job is done. There's no need for that kind of language. All the hooks is goddamn useless. Why can't you turn the fucking sign yourself and get in the position afterwards? 
I turn the sign, then we might have any number of lost travelers coming down the street while I get into my position. We have to keep track of our targets, therefore. Your job is of the utmost importance. And you are the utmost prick. I've done playing. This shit cannot be too hot. <laughs> my utmost apologies, my friend. Uh, of course, I should have realized that you contain enough intelligence to memorize a few lines. Of course, you can have my job. Why don't you bloat a little more so your ugly head gets big enough to make up for your tiny... Improvisation? It doesn't even make sense. Plus, your improv is fine. That's not the effing point. Isn't it, though? If you want to be a handsome, then you have to learn how to improvise. I'll bet you didn't do that in your kindergarten plays. We're currently in the process of developing a brand new line of pillow mints. Pillow candies, in fact. We find it hard to believe not everyone likes men. Benjamin Gray, how to research and develop. Benjamin Gray? Is this a joke? I was under the impression we were meeting at the hotel. <laughs> well... Well, <laughs> seems you caught me with my pants down, I, um... <laughs> this is a bit embarrassing. You see, it's my partner's first time in the area, and, well, it seems that our dear Benjamin hit a pothole while I was driving, and it distracted See, he thought it was a good idea to let me hold the steering while he's driving. Your tie? Fine, by the way. What brings you out here? I'm just a bit lost, is all. I was going to ask the bus driver for directions, but then this guy started preaching about his mints. Well... The bus doesn't come for another half an hour. I hate to keep business waiting. Maybe we can carpool. The preacher may know the way. Where would you even conceive the notion that you could do my job? Won't need to anymore. Best if I keep beating you up too. See, thing is, I want to get my ass out the cold. Yes, the bus stops are lacking in heat recently. Man, I'm talking about the hotel. That shit gotta be nice. It's your own room. Got a large lot of cash. Do you guys do at the That's none of your concern. Allow me to bear that burden for you. Just stay by your sign for now. Perhaps in the future we can arrange a visit for you. Um, I'm sorry. Well, I'd like to thank you for the ride. And what do you say we get settled, and then we can meet for dinner? Sure. I'd like a room near that fine man who just went to the elevator. Business related? Quite. Cash or credit? Credit. I'll be taking that round. You're not handsome.
quiet, lady. I'm going to let you out. Yes, through the hotel lobby. It's where I came from, but that's the people that did this to you. I'm gonna find a way out of here. Be right back. No, Mabel, don't leave me with him! Oh, it got you. You just don't get it. Do you? in there going to waste. Now, uh, you have caused my weekly sales to go down. That's not fun for anybody. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought that was your annoying voice I heard before. Now tell me, how is it that our dear prisoners uh, <clears throat> got free? Oh, so that's how you got down here. Oh, those hands of yours are trouble, aren't they? You said the hotel rules was a scam for money. When the hell did that turn to murder? I say a lot of things, don't I? Hmm? But murder, my dear boy? No, 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 no. Not murder, no. It's just a bit of flesh here, a kidney there, nothing serious. Though, they do usually die afterwards. Now, you see, the big man decided that he could get more money for his targets if he diced them up first. Uh-uh. Remember who has the knife. Take it now. <laughs> 